Shalom. Barak to Yahala, Bashim, Yahab Bashim, Barakadash, all praises and glories definitely do, especially in the times we're living in. Much respect to the apostles and others, the great millstone, and to all the brothers out there doing the work, I say Shalom. All right, uh, before I get started on the lesson, I want to say a few words. Um, this picture here that we see, this was put up by uh, GMS, declaring the end of the Apostle Tahar. This is another bug out. Supposedly this guy's from Chicago. And uh, as Elder Apostle Tahar was saying, you know, he hopes this guy links up with the uh, vocab alone, you know, so they can roast him. All right. Because this guy is a total, again, bug out, space cadet, reprobate. All right. This guy's talking about that the other nations can make it. All right. And there's nothing written in there. And right away, listen, there are so many precepts as all the brothers that are in this truth know from my others on down. But one precept alone kills his, uh, you know, his theory without having to even hit the other precepts. All right. Um, and what is that? All right, that uh, he is sent unto but the lost sheep of the house of Israel. All right? So, you know what? Give me a minute. All right? All right, this is Matthew 15, 24. What does it say here? All right? This scripture here alone cuts this guy and all the other bug outs and space cadets without having to hit any of the other precepts. And this is the red lettering. So this is your how should I speaking. What does it say here? I am not sent but unto the Lord's sheep of the house of Israel, the 12th tribe. And we already know when it's talking about the Gentiles in the New Testament, when you're reading uh you know, Apostle Paul, Romans, the ninth chapter, the 10th chapter, 11th chapter, so on and so forth. We know that Gentiles means nation, but it also is referring to who? It's referring to the Israelites that are in those Gentile heathen nations, which goes back to the first Maccabees. All you got to do is read first Maccabees, all right? And they weren't called Gentiles then under uh, King Antiochus. Epiphanies, they were called uh, Hellenists, Hellenistas, all right? They were Hellenized. That's why there's no difference between Jew nor Greek, because they're Israelites. Can you see how redundant these people are, these bug outs? All right? Anyway, uh, let me give you some more scripture here, all right? Again, but there are false prophets also among the people, right, among Israel, right? Even as there shall be false teachers among you, you see, who privately shall bring damnable heresies, right? In other words, false doctrines, right? Even denying the Lord like that group the one body group, okay, that brought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction, all right? And let me give you a precept for that. First uh, Peter 4 and 17, all right? Give you First Peter 4 and 17, all right? First Peter four and seventeen. All right. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the most high. You see that? Okay? Pretty much just like what we read. Okay, all throughout the scriptures, like in Amos nine and eight. 
when he will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. Okay? But everything starts with Israel. All right? This is about cleaning out his house first. All right? So, for the time has come that judgment must begin at the most high, at his house, cleaning his house. And if it be first, begin with at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the most high? You see that? People get it? You understand? So again, people, don't worry about it. You know, it was prophesied. It happened already over 2,000 years ago. Those same spirits are back today. All right? Everybody's here to meet their judgment whether for good or evil, all right? The Lord will sort them out, all right? Using, you know, the angels, the reapers, all right? Okay, between the wheat and the tares, all right? And the shaft. All right, anyway, let's uh, move on to our lesson, shall we? Give me a minute. All right, like I said, enough of these, uh, you know, these head cases, these space cadets, these retrobates, right? Uh, let's get into our lesson, which I'm going to title, Gird Up the Loins of Your Minds. You got that? Gird Up the Loins of Your Minds. We're going to play a little video clip here from uh, Mysteries of the Kingdom, right? And uh, then eventually we're going to get into the scriptures, all right? And uh, any of you new guys out there, or any of you uh, unlearned, I suggest, you know, you write the precepts down, all right, and you get to know them, all right? Okay, so uh, without further ado, let's play the video, and then we're going to get into the scriptures. All right, Shalom. Thank you. 
יצאו לביקוד של שבוע מכל מדינה Did you hear that? Draconian restrictions. Okay, we're going to get into that word in a minute. All right? Draconian laws. All right, we're going to get into that. Break it down for you, give you some understanding, amongst many other things and precepts. All right? Quote, right decision to get beat up less. Um, Y'all don't like it. We don't like it. But it works. And, you know, we'll, we'll do what it takes. And if enough Mississippians can't make the right decision to get immunized, they will have to do the draconian measures that will keep the health system operation. You heard him say it again. Draconian measures will be taken. Let's continue. No, they all take Christ. Yeah. Everybody. And we have to get in those communities, and we have to knock on those doors, and we have to convince people and put them in a car and drive them and get that vaccine in their arms. That is the mission. California starting the announcement was made this morning by the governor going to implement a vaccine verification system for all state workers. The new system will require all state workers to either verify they have been vaccinated or else undergo weekly testing. The governor's office says workers will have until next week to show proof they've been vaccinated. That's just coming as cases do rise across the state. Health officials say, especially among the unvaccinated. Here's the good news. Last week, we saw a 15% increase in the number of people getting their first dose or receiving the JJ vaccine. A 15% increase in vaccinations last week, first doses. A little over 255,000 shots administered. The mandate also applies to California health workers. The Department of Services says this program will keep state workers safe and the government running. They also encourage private employers to take similar measures. On September 13th, which is the first full day of school, every single city employee will be expected to be either vaccinated or be tested weekly. This means everybody. This means obviously everyone who works in our schools, our educators and staff, staff, it means the NYPD, the FDNY, it means all city agencies, it means people who work in offices and people who work on the front line. Everyone. Because September is when the rubber hits the road and this is when we have to make the difference and so this mandate will be in place. All right, we're going to end this here. We'll be right back with part two. And we're going to start with the uh, definition of uh, draconian for you. All right, and then we're going to get into it. All right, so we'll be right back uh, with part two. Shalom. <laughs> 